Hi, sisters and brothers. I hope you guys are having a great day today. It's almost Christmas, and I'll just be glad when it's over, actually. <laughs> but um, I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm still stuffed up, but... So, um, you know, recently the Lord's been bringing my attention to um, the Valley of Jehoshaphat and the Acacia and scripture and, and, uh, just, you know, the Holy Spirit speaking to me and, and, uh, had dreams of, or references to Bethany. And I was reading that Jesus had to go through the Valley of Jehoshaphat is actually today called the Valley of Kidron. And Jesus had to go through there a couple times. He rode through there on a on a donkey one time, I believe. But um, it's a valley people had to pass through. It's also a valley that, even to this day, um, they use it to throw trash. It's like their dumping ground, I guess, in Israel. But um, there's like a, a stream that, well, back in the day, I guess a river flowed through it constantly, but now it dries up in the summer. But uh, now it's like sewage goes through it and stuff like that. But it's talked about, I will bring all the kings or all the armies into the valley of Jehoshaphat in the last day. I believe Joel, was I reading about it in Joel or Amos? I can't remember, but um, so I'm not sure, but I was like, the acacia tree because Jesus had to get to go from Jerusalem he had to go through that valley to get to Bethany it's like a in between point and um so but then also to the acacia tree was actually used uh to build the ark of the covenant i believe and in Exodus thirty-seven twenty-eight, and he made the staves of shittim wood and overlaid them with gold. That is the acacia wood. And the acacia wood has like this like milky sap that comes out of it. But anyway, so last, okay, so last night I was dreaming of Israel all night last night. And, um, I think it's because I took cold medicine to help me sleep so I wouldn't cough all night, but I can't remember. There were there were certain allotments of times and days that I just could not wake up to write it down, and I kept trying to put it through my head all night last night so I would remember when I woke up, but I can't remember. But um, we all know something's getting ready, of course, to happen in Israel. And then so when I woke up this morning... Um, or just recently I seen Steve Fletcher had put out a video about the wall being built in Jerusalem and I was, so I clicked it and, um, I had actually seen this article a couple months ago where archaeologists that were digging around over there had, a uh, brick had fallen through and they seen a whole another room so they had gotten permission to go in. They found, um, yeah, you have to go watch it. It's, um, the whole, it's the Holy of Holies and, um, they have been unearthing these other rooms that had been closed up for thousand, uh, thousand, two thousand years, you guys. So... Um, well, I don't know how many years, but they are just re, you know, finding these rooms and stuff. And one of them leads to the Holy of Holies, I guess. And well, inside of one of these rooms is, um, a metal engraved plaque and it says the Song of Songs on it. And that is talking about the Song of Songs is about the, you know, marriage, and the bride and stuff like that. And he goes in to explain, um, what was he reading out of? Oh, the seven, the 72, the seven weeks and the 62 weeks or something like that. And I was just blown away because, um, 
on the 19th and um, they uh, deem something. I don't know, you guys. You have to go watch it. But I'm sure when I'm a little better, I will be able to process it better. But it's Steve Fletcher. And uh, if you guys have any thoughts about um, the Valley of Kidron and and the Acacia and stuff like that, the Ark of the Covenant, and then waking up and seeing that. I just think time is so short, you guys. And, uh, and then last night, too, I was reading in John 5 and 1 John 5 um, about in Jesus' own words in red, he was saying, you're saved because of your belief on me. And I thought it was pretty amazing in his own words. People say, well, Paul contradicts, da, 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 and James, blah, blah, blah. But if you go through and just read Jesus' own words and what he was trying to teach, you will see that we are saved from believing on him and believing that he was sent by God and believing on the one who sent him. And so I praise the Lord that he is so good and merciful. And um, anyway, I don't know if any of this made sense, but <laughs> like I said, this, this flu is a doozy, you guys. All right. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. And uh, I'll put the link for Steve Fletcher. I just thought it was really interesting. And you could go read the articles yourself, too. And uh, But the dates that he coincides with the scriptures and everything, it's pretty amazing. All right. Have a blessed day.